Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about one of the cameras I use, the Sony A6400 and why it's a great camera to own in 2023. Even though it was released a few years ago, um, 2019 to be exact, it still holds up as an amazing and capable camera for photography and also for videos. I bought mine um, almost two years ago um, because as a busy documentary filmmaker, I wanted a very good but reliable and relatively affordable Sony camera to pair with my main camera, which is the Sony A7 III, uh, which I use for my work. So let's start with the basics. Um, the Sony A6400 features a 24.2 megapixel um, APS-C sensor, um, which is still more than enough for most photography needs. It also has an ISO range of up to which is very great for low light shooting. In the field sometimes, you know, when you do not have access to a good power source and maybe you're running out of batteries, a camera with a very good ISO capability will help you to, to still get good quality images even in low light, like inside your room, for instance. Even though it's always advisable that when you're shooting videos, you know, you try to make sure that you have a good light source. Now, the autofocus system on the Sony A6400 is one of its strongest features. It uses a fast and accurate hybrid autofocus system which combines both contrast and phase detection. This makes it great for capturing um, fast moving subjects such as in sports or wildlife photography or you know a room full of moving people for instance in a busy hospital facility or a sports venue. Um, a camera with a very reliable autofocus system is great in these kind of situations because it helps to ensure that you do not lose focus of the subject that is in the frame. Now, another advantage of the Sony A6400 is its compact size and lightweight design. When I was shopping for a camera, I didn't want something that would be too heavy to carry around or heavy in the bag. You know, Sony A6400 is, you know, relatively quite small and easy to carry around. So that was one of the things I was looking for. And this makes it a very good option for travel and on the go shooting, you know, when you just want to get up and go and start creating content. Um, you don't have to think about the weight and if you use it on a gimbal or any other stabilizer device it'll be easy to carry and easy to manage now one of the great features about the camera also is that it has a flip-up screen which comes up right behind it and um, so which is actually very good for vlogging for youtubers people who want to do some self-portraits or self-shooting and you want to see how you look in the camera while it's shooting so that's one of the features of the a6400 a that makes it a favorite among many people. Now, when it comes to videography, the Sony A6400 is a fantastic choice. It can shoot up to 4K video at 30 frames per second and has a high bit rate of up to 100 megabytes per second, which ensures very good quality video. It also has a microphone jack for an external microphone and it can also shoot slow motion footage up to 120 frames per second, but at 1080p, not at 4K. So if you're trying to get very smooth battery slow motion um you will not be able to get it at 4k in this camera but this 1080p is still a very good resolution the sony a6400 has a great selection of lenses to choose from which makes it very versatile for different shooting scenarios it's also compatible with sony's e-mount lenses which means that there are plenty of options available for both beginners and professionals so if you get the camera the range of lenses that you can use with it is quite wide which makes it really interesting to own now about the cost like i said for the features that it has, it's a relatively affordable option. When I bought it about almost two years ago, I bought it for about 550,000 Naira with the kit lens, which is the lens that comes, you know, that came in the package. But now with the dollar rate and all of that, I'm not sure how much you get in Naira, but I think on Amazon, it's about um, 971 pounds with the kit lens. Um, well, I'll leave you to do the calculations, but trust me, when you compare it to the prices of other high-end cameras or even cameras that have similar features, it's really a good deal. So there you have it. Um, if you're thinking of buying a camera today, thinking about venturing into photography or videography as the case may be, um, the Sony A6400 is still a great camera to own in 2023, even though it was made in 2019. Now, there are lots of other cameras that have come out since then. Um, but you know, if you can afford it, you have a big budget, you can go for the more recent ones. But if you want something that is really small, compact, reliable autofocus system, wide range of lens choices, good in low lights, fantastic for both photography and videography, I think you should choose the Sony A6400. 
in other videos i'll be giving you my views on other cameras starting with the ones i own i own the sony a6400 and the sony a7 III and um, although i've had experience with many other types of cameras like canons and nikons but um, the sony system is where i'm at right now so um, i'll be sharing some of the things around those cameras especially the ones i own and then i'll be sharing videos also on other equipment that i use to do my photos and videos so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to keep these videos coming bye